Watch to discover our Swiss first class experience on the A330. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do a trip report of Swiss first class on the A330 going from Zurich to Dubai. This is Kuma. Let's go. Today's flight to Dubai is only 5 hours and 47 minutes. One thing to note is that this plane's final destination is Muscat, but we'll be getting off in Dubai. Today's flight is on time. In Zurich, first class and passengers have their own dedicated boarding lane, which means you can pretty much board any time the boarding starts, and there's obviously no line. And here's my seat. It's 1K at the window. Now let's have a good look at the seat. My first impression is that it's simple yet elegant. The first class cabin has eight seats in a 1-2-1 one, one configuration and each seat is 22 inches wide with 83 inches of pitch. As you can see they already have a glass of water and a champagne glass ready for me. Now let's have a look at the rest of the first class cabin. It has a bright and open look. I think it looks great. At this point, the two flight attendants, the purser, and the captain had greeted us by name. <laughs> and next, I was brought the welcome drink. I can't refuse a little bubbly. Cheers! And right after that, they brought out the snack of seasoned cashew nuts. It tasted awesome! Now we'll explore some of the more of the details of the seat on the armrest of the seat controls. Next to the seat controls is a storage compartment that also has the IFE handset. A good feature of the seat is the side lamp. It has varying lighting intensities. There's also a second storage compartment in the side table. This one has power outlets in it. And this seat has a vast amount of leg room. Look at all of it. The seat in front of you. It is forbidden to place hand luggage in front of the bulkhead seats or the emergency exits. If you're enjoying our video and would like to see more future content and to support Kuma, please subscribe. Now it's time to get into the meal service, which happened pretty quickly after takeoff. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to read the menu.
Now before we dig into the meal service, I want to go ahead and check out the tray table. It feels heavy and sturdy, and it looks borderline massive. The table is large enough so that two may dine at the same seat. This wine was suggested to me to pair up with the Amuse Bouche. In my opinion, the wine pairs very well with the Amuse Bouche. The food menu is a Taste of Switzerland menu from the Canton of St. Gallen. The menu is inspired by Sobio German, who is associated with a gastronomic movement of sharing in the Igniv by Andreas Caminata restaurant in Switzerland. And now they have brought out the first course, which is brought down on this cart. This is really wonderfully presented. I recommend that you try the signature Bollock Salmon. Look at the vibrancy of the color of the salmon. It was extremely fresh in taste. Another star of the first course was the lobster, which I found to be well seasoned. Also part of the first course is the mushroom dumpling soup. This is one of the creamiest mushroom soups that I think I've ever had. And the last item in the first course is this lamb's lettuce salad, which I found to be rather interesting. Lamb's lettuce is more commonly found in Europe and is one of the more nutritious lettuces available. And then I tried this dessert wine. Really enjoyed the sweetness of it. And now it's finally time for the main course. I got the beef tenderloin presentation looks absolutely fantastic. Now I want to go ahead and check the cook on that filet. As I cut through this filet I could tell that it was quite tender and that the cook looks perfect. The seasoning was on point and it made this filet one of the most enjoyable that I've had in the sky. My companion had the pumpkin risotto. My companion thought that it was rich and creamy. And finally we have dessert. Look at it, it's visually stunning. The flavor is fruity and refreshing. I can't go wrong with a hot cup of coffee after my dessert, as well as a nice piece of chocolate. Kuma was extremely happy with the meal service, and now it's time to check out the rest of the surroundings. First class seats come with these movable compartment doors. I want to show you the operation of the door. As you can see, there's a fairly substantial gap. The privacy is only partial. It's not meant to fully enclose you in. And comparing that to the 777, which has only about a one inch gap and it's almost fully enclosed. First class passengers receive a free voucher for the Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, it's only 50 megabytes, which you can't really do too much with. I hope they'll consider increasing the data allowance. Next, we have a Swiss branded noise canceling headset. The quality was good, but not exceptional. First class also gets a pair of slippers. These were pretty comfy. Also, first class passengers receive a pair of Zimmerli pajamas. These are really soft and comfortable. And I suggest if you get the chance to fly Swiss that you bring these home just like Kuma did. And now they're keeping me warm in the colder weather. Now I want to show you the amenity kit, which comes in this Bally pouch. This kit features a fairly standard array of products, including Ricola lozenges, a dental kit, and La Prairie skin products. Now we'll show you the laboratory, and looking around, it's your fairly standard airplane lavatory, but they keep it clean.
This lavatory features Library products as well. It's finally time to get a little bit of rest. There's only about two and a half hours left of this flight, but the flight attendant's going to show us how they make the bed. Before resting, I want to check out the IFE and see if there's a good movie for me to watch. It seems like Swiss has a good selection of movies. After some browsing, I choose to watch the latest Pokemon movie. After a while, they turn the main lights off and put these mood lights on instead for the rest. Let's also take a peek at the rest of the cabin. We'll be arriving in Dubai soon. It's too bad that this flight's not a little bit longer. I really don't want it to end. Since this flight is so short, there's no pre-landing meal. The flight attendant has suggested that we take the cheese plate, but we're really too full, so I opted to just have this ice cream, which I was really satisfied with anyway. Here's a hot towel to freshen up before saying goodbye. Welcome to Dubai. Generally, this flight experience was truly awesome. The service was top notch. The flight attendants really seemed to love their job. They were charismatic and engaged with us, and made sure that we were comfortable every step of the way. Each course of the meal service was well presented and extremely flavorful. It was definitely top notch. The seat itself was spacious and comfortable, but one minor criticism is that the door does not close fully. I'd like to see them consider changing this in the future. So would I fly Swiss First Class again? Yes, absolutely. In fact, I'm booked for it next year already. If you liked our video, please hit the like button. And to see more of our future content, please subscribe. This is Kuma. Thank you for watching. See you next time. To watch more of our flight experiences, you can click the link on the left to see the Delta One Suites and the link on the right to see KLM Business Class.